I'm gonna share with you a little known trick for how to record your DJ set when you're playing in a club. Now, obviously, if you're playing with a laptop and your controller, the easiest way to record your set anyway is just to hit record in your DJ software. But maybe you can't do that for whatever reason. Maybe you want to record the whole night, including MCs, microphones, live instruments, other DJs, or maybe, you're using streaming on your DJ software and when you use streaming, that record button is disabled. For whatever reason, you can plug into the club's mixer that you're also playing through and record that mixer, but there's a trick to doing it right. So that's what I wanna show you here. So here I've got some mixers and I'm gonna show you the right way of doing it and I'm also gonna show you what you need to look out for to make sure that it's possible. So let's get stuck in, eh? So to start with, you need a way of recording, right? You can record straight to your phone using a combination of leads. I'll talk to you about those in a minute. You can use things like Mixbox by Evermix, which is a great way, but again, uh, you're gonna need the right leads and so on. They come in the box with this, so you can find that on the Evermix website. But whichever way you do it, this is the trick. So, you take your lead that's gonna plug into the back of the mixer. This end plugs into your phone. If you're gonna plug it straight into your phone and expect it to work, you need that extra little cable I've just plugged in there. It's called a TRSS to TRS cable and it'll let you record on your phone through the microphone input. You might need an adapter if you've got a phone that's a bit more modern than mine. Mine is quite a, an old iPhone. Or you can actually get a USB audio interface. However you do it, you're still gonna to need to plug into the mixer and that's the trick. So you take your RCA cables and look on the back of the club mixer. This is an Allen and Heath Zone 43C and the outputs are here. And as well as the master output XLRs and these outputs here, booth, which is for the booth control, which will allow you to alter the volume in the DJ booth. There is this set here, record. And they're the ones that you wanna plug into. And the reason for that is that the record output will not go up and down in volume when you turn the master output up and down or when you turn the booth output up and down. So typically you'll change the booth output so your speakers get louder and quieter depending upon what you want them to be set to while you're DJing. And of course the master output will get louder as the club fills up. So both of those are not very good to record from. The record output stays at a constant level. So. That's where we plug into. Unfortunately, not all mixers have them. The Allen & Heath, uh, the Tractor Control Z2 or Z2 doesn't have it. But for instance, the Denon DJ X1800 here does have the output, it's down here. And all Pioneer club mixers also have that output. So in short, plug your RCA cable into the record output on the club mixer. And then however you do it, get the other end plugged into your phone, into some kind of hard disk recorder, recorder even into a laptop to record straight there. But if you plug it into the record output, none of the volume changes in the club, apart from those on the main mixer, in other words, the crossfader and the upfaders for the particular channels will affect what's recorded, giving you a nice, clean, even recording throughout the whole night. So that's it. If you've enjoyed this, please do share it. Please ask questions and give comments below. Hit the like button and we'll see you again for another tips and tricks here on Digital DJ Tips really soon.